welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we've got the um mtg or uh model 3 gaming peterbilt 281 slash 351 and uh, which is not something we drive very often <laughs> and i think i really like this truck although it's showing its age as a mod but there's things that are great about it and things that aren't so great and uh, we're about to see one of them when we hop in because it's dark out the mirrors aren't so good but it, i think that's the biggest knock on it in terms of driving it and stuff and other than that my only pet peeve is the template for it because something fishy with that you can't run a stripe across it without it diving off as it goes off each surface but that's another story for another day uh we've got flatbed brothers going on here and we're at the phillipsburg ats expansion farm and this is the first time we've done anything machinery related here we've got a load of volvo rims and tires and they're going down to dalhart to another ats expansion site so here we are we've brought hay out of here brought grain out of here or is it over here I forget down here and um i think we brought hay out of here several times maybe even up here and we're going down to darkness's joint and Dalhart. Darkness. Down to the machinery end of things. Now that's another thing I don't I don't think I've ever done. I'm not hundred percent sure, but done hay out of here lots. And grain. So and it's a nice cross country route. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Not super far. I got three hundred and forty three miles, so I guess I better quit yakking and get driving. Um I'm gonna hop in the old gal here. Spark it up. Got a uh, 3406B from Slap Jerry going here. Obviously retrofitted. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have been available when this thing was new. See what I mean about the mirrors? And when it gets light out, they're fine. So that's a bit of a bummer for night driving. And the other thing I got to, maybe I need to look at it. I don't know. Got uh, no um, roof cam. Got a wheel cam. But we'll, we'll, we'll get by. Probably got lots of, uh, do a bunch of drive-by camming. See what that looks like. This thing. I guess we could go out any number of ways here. Go straight. Slow motion drive-by cam. See if we can feed it through here. We're gonna lose sight of the truck. <laughs> I hope there's nothing parked in the... Oh, here we go. <laughs> it would have been bad if there was something in our way. Kind of winging it here. I guess they're going to turn out here somewhere. There we go. we got to get a run at this hill. Oh, straighter out. Popped us back in the cab automatic magically. We don't have a roof cam. Such a bummer. Well, a nice morning. Beautiful. Mirrors are starting to look better. Well, this gets a good, nice long distance. Uh, oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh, that's weird. I was gonna say, get that nice long distance. It would be nice if uh, it went further on the other side of the truck and got it coming towards the camera. But we'll see if we get out on the road. around that mirror the cars come around there in a hurry and uh -oh. 
get this Jake off. There we go. I'd like to put a real dimmer switch down on the floor down there, but I'm worried it's about a clicking on it. I don't know. Maybe they're not as loud as I remember them. I got one in the caddy. I should... <laughs> Instead of I've got a little switch, it's um, very similar to the switch I have in here for the range. In fact, it is one. I could buy a little five or ten pack, and I changed it out because I had a weaker one, and so it's just a little micro switch, more or less. And I stomp on it with my big old size 12. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't work too good. I got to flap away at it a few times. I think it's getting tired of the abuse. So this uh, Flatbed Brothers is my uh, fictitious company out of Amarillo. Instead of uh, taking something out of Amarillo, I wanted to take something back towards Amarillo. Oh, don't tell me we've got to drive through Hayes. <laughs> Ugh, ugh. See all those darn... Traffic circles. I don't mind traffic circles so much, but it's a bit overkill. I have an 85 of them in a row. Go straight. Yeah, looks like we're going right through all of them, too. Well, our mirrors are working now, so that's a good thing. Be a heck of a deal to go through there without mirrors. Here's the first of many. Don't you know what? We get a car coming up on us. Double whammy. This one's just weird. Not the signal or anything. Just gotta <laughs> keep on spinning the wheel. Oh my God! What was that about? I have to look at the map sometime and just see what in the H that's all about. Cause it doesn't make much sense to me. mixed load on that thing. Steel tubing and some fittings or something in that box. Maybe that's uh, concrete. Sacks of concrete? Who knows? What's it say? Looks like it could be. Some timbers? We're building something. Oh boy. 
letting them get away from me. Hey, a recruitment agency. That's good, because I'm in my old school profile. God dang it. Go no stop sign. Well, maybe that dude's turning right. County Fire Department. Go straight. What are we getting? Oh, he's turning right. Nice. Nothing to worry about. Sunshine's coming out. Sweet. Got retro 24.5s on the front with tires from. Not sure what the tires are from. Maybe they come with the truck? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'll have to look at that combination again. And the rear wheels are from Smarties. So are the trailer wheels. And the trailer tires are Smarties. Smarties 24.5s. Alcoa's. Parking's gonna be like down there at the machinery end of things. Hmm, I'm trying to remember. That might be fairly open. I was kind of surprised on the pickup, it was just where I parked, or where you saw me at the beginning of the video. It was just a drive in, just right there. It didn't turn us around or anything after we loaded, of course, because my parking settings. But, um, yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. got run over here at this intersection the other day. I don't think it was in a video. Didn't somebody, didn't see somebody coming through that barrier. Or maybe it's a sign. He was hidden behind that sign, maybe what it was. Anyway, I pulled out and... Oh, so that guy's gonna wait for us now. What? Oh, see? You turn around and there they are. Yeah, dang it. Now they're all waiting for me. Oh, he gave up. Come on, everybody. Let the confused dummy through. Ah, you big dummy. Yeah, I should get a uh, more robust switch for that uh, high beam. Yeehaw. Wonder why you don't see two people in the cars. Why do they throw a second person in there? Oh, oh. Not in there. I was showing him a close-up of a 24-5 and scared him a bit there. Go straight. Oh, stop sign. Wow, see him? <laughs> he rolls him worse and faster than I do. Slow that guy down. Flatbed Brothers. 
Another outfit that needs a garage. See, the mirrors might even be a little overexposed uh, in the daylight. Oh, yeah, for sure. So that needs updating. I wonder if they'll ever address it. People must mention it to them. on there. Going slow, she really slowed down. There's our train. Oh, could be a big one. No. <laughs> Shoot. I looked at the cars and when you get a, you see a bunch of light cars coming. Sometimes it's a huge train or just one type of car. Maybe I don't have the mod in here. The longer train mod in this profile. Could it be? It's funny, I was thinking as I was pulling up here, well, it'd be a good thing to not have the trailer hanging out over here and get hung up at the stop right. sign, but what's the length like? Oh, there's lots of room. starts at the truck that that's a get nice and far away oh shoot let me get that gear yeah it's kind of a crappy drive-by camera oh that was a new old school uh, skin from the old school yard cool seeing that in traffic with the kick-ups instead of the straight. the um, straight line. Uh, is that going to be a big train? Nope. Let's not have the mod in here. I should have looked in my mirror to see if anybody else is passing me before I pulled out there. Kind of just jumped on that. It's not a pretty cool uh, logging video. I don't, I think I'm somewhere in Washington State. And it was probably filmed in the 60s. But, you know, the quality of the video was pretty good, actually. It, like, considering it wasn't horrible. And the color, of course. And uh, they were driving 351 Peterbilts like this in the logging. Uh, and they're showing them loading and a bit of driving, unloading loading the trailers back on the back of the truck the way they do the pole trailers and uh, yeah it was pretty cool the poor old girls were pretty beat up though 
They had an interesting, it was a, uh, you know, that sort of bright yellow construction equipment, you know, more yellow than cat yellow, but not brilliant. And uh, with some brown on them, I seem to remember. Yellow and brown. But, you know, pretty cool. Fun to watch. So the the uh, 281 is the, is the single axle, and the 351 is the tandem. Boy, it's overexposed out the windshield now at this time of day. Big bummer. Kind of guessing where the lane is. Need one of those bug deflectors. Oh, geez, we're way off the road here. See how those bug deflectors can sometimes uh, make the line on the side of the road or the center visible. It'd be a pretty narrow bug deflector on this one. You wouldn't see the left line. But you would see the right one. So, uh, this being car show week, and um, I'm making these videos ahead of time, and today's the day I uh, get the caddy down to the show building. Dude's coming with a flat deck to pick it up. Well, it and me. Uh, but, um, well, we're going to aim to get down there by 5.30, because i got to get it off the truck, and i get get in the line up to... My entry slot is 6 p.m. on the dot. Kind of wish I was going earlier. Oh, well. The weather's going to be the pets. It's beautiful out today. Snow's almost all gone. Now we're going to get a whole bunch more snow. <laughs> Go figure. April. Thank God. It's goofy. It's like they say around here in Calgary, you don't like the weather? Wait 10 minutes. So it's not going to be a live stream on Saturday, of course, because I won't be around. Um, I'm toying with the idea of seeing if I can make a longer video. Maybe I can make a video and sneak it in on Saturday in lieu of the live stream I think a lot of people Go just straight. truck anyway and you got it running in the background the down thing is the downside it's not spontaneous like it's always nice to say hello to those who are watching and So I'm doing a B double flat deck load here, and uh, it'll be on Thursday. Still gonna have a B double Sunday, and I just gotta find some different kind of trailer, because that was the whole idea of just taking away, you know, stopping the uh, call them all Sunday, and start doing something different with it, and just do B doubles, because there's so many B double combinations out there that we haven't tried. So. Got to think of what I'd like to do. If the 
this is Gaiman, or do we already go through there? Man, that concrete is bright. <laughs> so you need that shade. Hit a button and phew, sunglasses. That would be cool. Go straight. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're turning right up there anywhere. There's never two people in the cars. Go straight. Oh boy, which of these lanes is going to be better? Gotta hope that maybe somebody turns out of that right lane. We can see that guy's signal light. No, it's not on. Maybe I'll turn in town somewhere. Flathead Brothers smut flaps, of course. You can choose a cat yellow or an old uh, red. They were coming from red in the old days. Engine color. The engine's actually fairly detailed in this truck. You can have the hood sides off it as an option, which used to see a lot of back in the day. Go straight. Truck's driving around with no sides on the hood. Not so much on the highway as off-road and, uh, you know, highways department trucks. Remember when I was a kid, our local township had international trucks or the highways old conventionals of course yellow with black fenders go straight Yeah, so these are... Oh, you know what? These might... I wonder if that's the... Al Peterbilt Alcoa's maybe from the Alcoa 1.3 pack. Turns left. But mess things up. We got plenty of brakes. Another place for a U.S. foods delivery. If there's one there. Motor rest. Food market. Food mart. Uh, ideal location. Another one right there. Man, it would be cool to be able to do multiple deliveries like that. Just to add something to the game and you pull in with your your reefer load of convenience store goodies there and then you go across the street get rid of a bunch there go down to the next little town drop some off to get that trailer emptied out would be pretty cool go straight I don't know what that job would be like in real life I imagine it'd be pretty frustrating There's a lot of the parking challenges with Civilians all around doing goofy things when you're trying to maneuver your rig in a 53 foot trailer. 
maybe that would be a little unrealistic for the job. find the little pedal. Not like we're uh, running away with anything here ourselves. We got uh, 600 horsepower under the hood here. 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. But our load is, oh, it's only 33,000. You think we have a bit more giddy up than we got, but it's not a race car. Taxoma. Ooh, before we stop, shoot, we're in the wrong lane. If we can get over there, we'll get run into. Even with sl uh, slowpoke up there. Get through it a lot faster in this lane. I mean, look how far up the road he is already. We'd be way the heck back there somewhere. Competition here? Nope. Man, I see a lot of trains. It's kind of a bummer. I don't have that long train mod in this profile. Only one of them's crossed our path. It's got to be five at least. Is that dude up there holding everybody up? Probably a bunch of, bunch of people by me. Oh, there's that dude up ahead holding everybody up. It's, it's, yards, turn right. We can look at the back here. Oh, we can't. Shoot. Ooh, right turn here. Right. Come on. Grab that gear. Say, uh, brakes did more were more effective than uh, I could keep up to them with the downshifts. Or actually, I should say I couldn't. I didn't try to properly. That was on me. the road here but we had an accident boys oh he's falling through the road boy I'll be horn swoggled let's get a photo of this all right what's everybody gonna do 
Man, it's either that or he ground the back half of his car off on the <laughs> road. Get out of there, people are starting to talk. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Big butt. Nice. Some real looking equipment here. More uh, recon lobster stuff. Turn fat boy. I don't know why I can't get my view to go right around. I'll go right around this way. Oh, there we go. I just had to do it a couple times to get uh, Toby used to the idea. I think we're going to pull out here a bit. Get somebody to stop here. Well, that's us right ahead. It says 18 miles, but well, maybe it is up further. Oh, that next set of buildings up the road, I guess. I guess it depends when we get out into the, uh, sorry. Um, away, far enough away from the town, so it goes from 6 to 1 to 19 to 1 map scale. Yeah, so now let's yards, turn left. Yeah, now that now the miles are starting to drop. Turn left. Okay, we don't have a stop sign here, so come on folks. Hold on. That's us up there on the left. There we go. All right, so we pull on in here somewhere. There's the equipment. said so sooner. Hey, is that a Kings County truck over there? Where's our flag? That must be it out there. Oh, well, that's a question mark. I just want to get close to that truck. Yeah, it's a Kings County. Well, where's our uh, Green Goblin? Oh, there. Oh, we just got a parking spot. Painted on the ground. Can't really see which end's what. 
see one end of it. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Well, we'll go in the direction that the uh, other trailer's pointing. This works. See, we're more or less going in the right direction here. Oh, maybe over this way a bit. There we go. Oh, that was interesting. Three forty three. Wheels with Volvo rims. I get a kick out of that. <laughs> I mean, tires with Volvo rims or wheels with Volvo tires? I don't know. You don't mean wheels and rims, but... Hey, it's all semantics, right? Yeah, I love those little trips through the country and I like the old style stuff. I kind of wish they'd update the glass on this thing because it's such a cool looking old truck. You know, the uh, nicely done model. The, uh, you know, we've looked before underneath it, the chassis and the airlines and fuel lines. You just sort of see from up here. We're not going to go down and do it again. We do it <laughs> so many times. All the airlines and everything are there. The uh, tri shaft is properly installed and it all looks pretty good. Well, that's a little steep, that angle there, maybe, but. It's uh, so pretty cool. Uh, as always, appreciate you guys following along. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.